five. Welcome back, everyone. Listen to this number. 77% of American office workers say they are now working from home. That's according to a recent survey by the staffing firm Robert Half. It is a national experiment that seems to be working, if you can excuse the pun. Fox 13's Max Roth joins us with the story. Max. Yes, Bob and Kelly, thanks. You know, it is a giant unplanned experiment, and we all wish, of course, that it never had to happen. But one of the positive outcomes may be a growing understanding and trust between, between some workers and their employers. Two studies and one example that proves them really well. So let's get right into it. USA Today and LinkedIn released this study this week. 54% of people who are now working from home reported feeling positive about it compared to 25% feeling negative. The benefits of working at home, people hate their commutes. They also say they're not as distracted by coworkers and they don't have as many meetings. Now, what are the downsides to working at home? A lot of people are lonely, just over 50%. Some people say communicating less with colleagues uh, really makes work a little harder. They're distracted by friends and family when they're at home and even distracted by social media. And then this is another study from the Gallup organization, the polling group, and they looked at how engaged employees feel. And what they found is employees felt most engaged with their work when they worked remotely 60 to 80% of the time, most of the time. And they say engagement uh, really adds up to employee productivity. Okay, now here's the interesting thing. This Gallup study was done in January before all of the COVID-19 stuff really took effect here in the U.S. And they used as an example the federal government, uh, and they wrote this because the federal government said, and it was the Social Security Administration they used as an example, they said that they were going to pull back from remote working because now is not the time to experiment. Well, boy, did they have to experiment quickly. And look what happened. This NPR report just from this week, they looked at federal employees and they see that productivity is up. And in fact, they used as an example, the Social Security Administration that we were just talking about. They say with 53,000 workers working from home, they have reduced their backlog of cases 11%. Really is uh, an amazing example there. Now, some big corporations are already shifting expectations. Microsoft, for example, has already told employees, even if restrictions are lifted, they can choose to work from home through October. Google, on the other hand, clarified to workers, sounds like some people asked, that they cannot expense meals and other perks that they get at home. Live in the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.